Hey guys and welcome back to another Let's Play series. Today we are doing something different. This game is special to me because it was the first game in its kind that I've played back in the day. And those who uh, played it may remember this screen that I'm using right now for the background. So without further ado, let's turn the game on. If only it didn't go full screen immediately. Those of you who guessed, that's right. Today we are playing Aramon's Prophecy. It was one of the first RPG Maker games that I have played. Uh, I'm sorry if it's hard to read the text of the game, because it has some weird RPG Maker 2000-2003 fonts, but we will get around that. Uh, I know my way sort of around the game, haven't played it in like 10 years or so. <laughs> Was it out for 10 years? Once upon a time in a small village hidden from the world, there lived a peasant named Talia. Today Talia is to be named a local custom, blah blah blah. Basically, children, after reaching a certain age, get named by the old hag of the uh, forest, and that will decide what they will become in the future. I miss this game! You all are Talia Maorva, a 13-year-old peasant girl from the secluded village of Elden. That font is horrible. Th that font is just horrible. <laughs> I need to do something about it later. You live with your grandmother, who has taken care of you since your parents disappeared when you were a baby. Uh, keep in mind this line, because it will come up later. Today is the day you are to receive your grown-up name. The name that will determine the profession you will follow for the rest of your life. I don't need a tutorial. Ah, RPG Maker, I love it. <laughs> uh, let's see if I can change the size of the window, though. No, I can't. Uh, nothing? I did not know that will happen. Oops. <laughs> okay, let's start again. I definitely didn't know that will happen. That never happened to me before. <laughs> Begin quest. Okay, uh, I'm already trying to speed up the game. Okay, save game, press 1, when not in menu. Open close menu, press ESC, enter, open submenu, use items, arrow keys, navigate menu and submenus, new party leader. In the menu, highlight the character to lead the party, then exit the menu. You will move this character around on screen. Uh, note about items menu, page 1, helpful items, food, healing potions, page 2, quest items, journal and relics. Note about equipment. Oh, blah 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 blah, I know this shit. Okay. Since we cannot change the size... Uh, thank you. You find your journal. Uh, we press 1 and we can save. Nice. Hey there, Granny. Good morning, dear. Did you sleep well? Nah, can't believe it is my naming day. What do I have to do again? We have discussed the ritual several times over. Go to Avrael to be named. I almost forgot. Before you go, take this pail to Farmer Gubbing. We need fresh milk. I'm not sending you off before tea. 
And don't forget your journal. It's on the shelf. Milk pill. Okay. Yeah, sure, go for it. Okay. I love this game. <laughs> we need a carrot from here. Okay. Um, I don't remember. Is there? There are definitely no hidden items like <laughs> in Pokemon. I love this village atmosphere. It looks so good. You can barely tell that it's made in RPG Maker 2000. How is your garden? You are growing carrots. Reynold makes the best meat pie meat pies. Meat meat or meal? Meal pies? Dang this fat, don't you think? Have you seen Kenya? She said she would meet me for a drink. Candle marks ago. That's a weird expression. Thou fart, he can hear and see just fine. He likes to pretend he's deaf and dumb so people will feel sorry for him. That's how he got dinner. You should be happy that you're getting free food. I can't hear you. Speak up. I can't see you. Come closer. Are you sure you don't want to stare at boobs? Hi. Talia, listen to me play. How is your beautiful granny doing? Bring her in from so blah 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 blah. blah. Yeah, he's totally in love. Stop him, Bazzoni. Okay. Oh, I thought he will... Oink. Hey there. I wish the fairy would get here soon. I'm waiting for an important package from Devonshire. Oh my god. Ah. Uh. <laughs> Flashbacks. Hey kid, that that lady about there, you have given up trying to be nice to her. You read the letter, dear papa, I finally got named. Avra said I'm going to be a seamstress. Love Jenna. Jenna? Speaking of Jenna, I should play good Golden Sun too. <laughs> Maybe in the future. Hey there. Kiddo. Hey, talk, talk, bitch, talk. Eh, poor Ralphie. I hope he gets better soon. It's so boring chasing chickens without him. Why do you chase chickens? Okay. Elden. Oh, this is the girl. Eh, 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 eh. Tama? Tana? Whatever. Stupid boys won't let me play with them. <gasps> eh, let me. Thank you. You have no desire to dig up a grave but you're in your village. However, other towns. Yes, grave digging is a thing in this game. If you have a shovel, you can dig up graves that are highlighted like this. This is basically... Um, an easter egg, not an easter egg, it, it basically shows you that, yes, you will be able to do it. Hmm. Smithry, gla Glaveyard. Glaveyard. <laughs> Alicia, Alicia? Or Lydia? Lydia. The other girl said Lydia, so it's Lydia. Lydia Perry. What do you want, Talia? We have nothing to talk about. I don't know why I have such a deep voice. Wah, 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 wah. <laughs> um. Okay. Talia, how is your family? Good. Yeah, just coming along until my quill split. Oh. He needs a quill. I wonder where I can get a quill. I don't remember. Ba -ba 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 -na -na -na. 
You open the chest and find hand dagger. Ah, this menu. Um, okay. Okay. And oh, I love it. They updated the graphics a bit. Uh, you should search but find nothing. Find nothing. Find nothing. Marsh tea. Find nothing. Bread loaves. Back in the day, I had absolutely no idea what a bread loaf is. <laughs> I loved exploring this game so much. It was fun. Uh, yes, uh, this is a secret path for later, actually. I believe it's for later. Yes, later. <sighs> Whiskey Jack is passed out. He's trying to wake him, but the bastard is out cold. Hmm. Oink, oink. <laughs> Gold pennies. This is important for some reason in the future. I don't remember why. I remember about 70% of the game. I have played through it a lot of times. This is one of those games that I just I was just so addicted to. I love how they added that fly sound. I don't know why they would put that demonic goat there. <laughs> okay. <laughs> this is where the other thing is supposed to be. Hi there. Ralphie is sick. I told him not to play in the rain. Kiddo, why are you playing rain? I need to check everything. There are no hidden items inside, but there are hidden items hidden in logical places. Okay, goods. We can buy bread. We have two gold. Equipment, hand dagger, hat, practice sword. Ah, much like Final Fantasy, the game will show you who can equip it and who cannot. It's really inspired by Final Fantasy and Dragon Quest. That's one of the reasons that I always loved it. Oh boy. Sealed tightly. I never understood why you needed a specific character to open the sealed barrels when you have a dagger yourself. Hurry, little girl, I have work to do. I don't have time for talk. Wow, what an asshole. Good luck with Nanda Vrail. Whatever you do, don't look into her eyes. Just kidding, she is not so mean. Yet. Child, I have too little time for chat right now. Why are you so asshole? And why do you people collect all the equipment here? That doesn't look... <laughs> that doesn't look practical a single bit. They will just end up searching for a specific thing in the... Well, not even haystack because it's a weapon sack. Hmm... Did I go... Oh! Ha! Found the quill! Eh. Um... Dang it! <laughs> I remember now. If you talk to the dude, the quill will just drop down like that. And you have to pick it up. They made sure it's visible. Okay. Quill! You pick up the feather. <sighs> I 
Which house was it again? I think it was the house at on the top, maybe. And the good old days when you couldn't just go diagonally. <laughs> Take this as your reward. Five pennies! Let's see, I had two, that makes seven. I could sell a piece of bread and then just buy an item. I could, but would I? And should I? Marsh tea is sold for 7 gold, bread is sold for 2 gold each. That's 6 plus 7 is 17 plus... That's 19, I'm barely short of a few things. How much was practice sword is 20? <clears throat> okay. Let's get the hat. The equipment doesn't show. But they do have the air effect. <laughs> did I check everything? I think I did. Okay, we have a basic weapon and a basic hat. That should do it for now. You are about to leave your village. Outside of your village, wild animals can attack you. When you enter an area with wild animals, you will see a little status bar in the lower right corner of the screen. Yes, that barely visible little speck. Space bar, hit wild animals with your equipped weapon. The friend leading the party will hit the animal. Press ask near wild animal. This opens the battle menu. This menu contains spells and items that you can use in battle. Select the items you want to use. Press enter. You can use the item selected when you attack wild animal. To collect loot from dead enemy, walk onto the corpse and press space bar. It's a really cool game and I love it. <laughs> It's simple, but effective. And the design is majestic. Oh my god, I remember... Bread crunch. Or crumb. I remember the days when I just kept uh, coming and going here. Uh, just to try and grind a little bit. Um... Before we do anything, let's save the game. I remember the snakes are harder. Yep! <laughs> Definitely harder. <laughs> yep! That's what we call in the in... That's what we in the industry, the industry call instant kill. Uh, while it's not necessary to grind, I prefer having at least a uh, uh, practice sword. Later on, when you get um, party members, they will all take turns to fight. Uh, for example, if we have Talia here and later, let's say we have Devin, then once Talia attacks, the game switches 
onto Devin, like visibly gonna switch characters and then Devin attacks. Then since there's no other characters, uh, it will switch back to Talia and it will be in that order constantly. Character 1, character 2, character 3, character 4. If there is no 3 or 4, then it jumps back to 1. And after the fourth character attacks, it also jumps back to character 1. Okay, how many money? 10. How many? How much money, I meant? <laughs> Just 10 more gold pennies. And in the meantime, we are also... Collecting a few things. Regard 5 HP. Cure 1 poison friend. I believe one loaf of bread is like multiple slices. I'm not sure anymore. Class 2. Uh, Talia basically leveled up. She got 4 extra hit points and not much else right now. I think her attack and defense also went up. I didn't really pay attention. But like I said, it's good to collect some stuff here just for a few extra pennies and healing items. There are spots where there are two or three enemies at the same time, but Going back and forth with this one enemy is slightly faster, maybe a bit slow on the advancement rate, but definitely faster on the respawn rate. And it's easier because you have only one enemy, you keep getting either pennies or breadcrumbs, and you can just heal if something happens. Plus, they can gang up on you, and then you're just screwed. <laughs> you're just screwed all the, way, all the way. Okay, we have 19 gold pennies. One more gold penny, and we can buy the practice sword for Talia. Boop. I love these nature sounds. <laughs> Just when I need the breadcrumb, it doesn't give any. I, I mean pennies. Pennies I meant. There we go. Okay, now let's go back to Elden. Oh, bonk. <laughs> Gold pennies. I think... I, okay, I didn't go the wrong way. I just didn't notice that enemy before. For some reason? <laughs> How the F did I not notice it? Wrong house again! Buy practice sword. Sell bread I love how they updated the graphics I love that they didn't abandon this game I mean Avion is already a successful sequel series because oh Jesus Christ it's it's almost on Kingdom Hearts level of uh, franchise <laughs> but this is a good game and this is free Herman's Prophecy was the first and the free game. The rest are just buy and play. Okay. Uh, I'll be right back, guys. And we're going to continue afterwards. And we are back. Okay.
I believe that as uh, if I remember correctly Wow, that was a good <laughs> attack uh, Much like in many RPGs your beginning house is also basically a free inn Okay, let's go this way Pop, pop, pop. The game is quite fast in its action sequences, so you will never feel like it's dragging on. Um, I'm pretty sure this is not where we are supposed to go, and I'm coming this way just in case. Fairy and Elden, yes. The ferry is basically where we are gonna go to the next area. But if I remember correctly, there will... There isn't one. Why did I recall a snake being here? Wait, that's a different bridge. Okay. That's just a bridge connecting two sides of this island. It happens. That also happens when monsters hit and kill you after they die. Nothing serious. Hmm. I need to remember where the old lady house was. I mean, where the milk house was, I think. Hmm. Up is definitely where the old lady is. Hmm. I may just go this way and check. Just in case. <laughs> This game also has class changes. <clears throat> Unusual for many. Uh, oh, nice. And it took 4 HP off of us. 4. That's insanely strong. This is just a secret area. Sorry. This this map design is just so cool. I love it. Avian developers definitely did their best. Yes, this is it. So when you come up here, you will eventually reach this road here. These roads signify close by towns or areas. And this is the milk farm. <coughs> Hey yo, Farmer Gabing. Gabing? Gubbins? Grandma sent me for milk. Uh, old Bessie ran off. <laughs> okay. Bessie, Bessie, Bessie has ran off. Gold pennies. Eight of them. That's good. Yeah, you cannot sleep in other people's beds. <clears throat> I don't remember these boots here. Hmm. We just stole his life savings. Okay. Basically, this is what the carrot is for. You need to now find Bessie and bring him home. I need to be careful. Okay, gold pennies. Snakes are a good uh, source of money, but they are dangerous. Nothing. And that can happen, which is annoying when you barely survive an encounter. Bessie is here. Bessie is always at the same spot in this clearing. 
basically eating grass, so... That's a level up again. Even though it says Talia leveled up her class, it's actually her actual level. But there are class changes in the game, so... Ooh, nice. Come on, Bessie. If you have the carrot and talk to her, she will start following you. You gotta be careful because if you go too far, she will just uh, respawn on the clearing. Not sure if she consumes the carrot or not. But I think the carrot does respawn. Come on, Bessie. Sometimes it's annoying to lead her. Come on. Come on, big girl. Good girl. Okay. Now that we are out of there... Yes, enemies respawn the moment you leave the area, so... Even if it's not a loading screen locked town, but just a different section of the place, they respawn. Imagine it like rendering. When you leave a certain area, the rendering ends and it re-renders a new area. That's basically how it works as well. Did I get everything? I think I did. Yeah, if you remember what she just said, she said that the Bessie was eating the herbs of Avril. And Avril is the person that will name us. So if you continue on this path... This is the snake that I thought was at the docks, actually. You will end up at Avril's house. <clears throat> house. Basically, it's a cave. It's weird a bit that to see this upgraded cave. I don't know why I remember her having an actual large pool here. Okay. It's weird. Talia just becomes translucent. Yeah, the game doesn't let you speedrun the game. You have to go to specific event triggers. Oh, we can just kill this too. We need the money because I'm not sure if the second teammate starts with a practice sword. Plus we used up a lot of breadcrumbs and we need to restock. Mm-hmm. 
Is there anything here? Sometimes they can catch you from far away. Get used to this uh, section because we we will be walking back and forth a bit. There's the carrot. There is no inventory size. Every item has its specific place in the inventory, so we can pick up whatever. After pouring hot tea into two clay cups, grandmother mixes in a dab of fresh cream uh, and hands you a cup. For a few minutes, the two of you talk and drink your morning tea. Well, dear, it's time for you to visit Avril. But first, we need to rest. I don't know why it does it twice, but okay. I don't know why I did that. <laughs> Yeah, the damage is so minor by this point that it doesn't show there on the bottom right. Level 3 is a good uh, level to be at. Up. Uh, oops. I knew I was stuck in something. We have 65 gold pennies, that should be good. <laughs> you can never have enough gold pennies. Said you cannot col Sadly, you cannot collect herbs from these patches. I wouldn't mind if someone made a, a nice 3D rendition of this game. It would be cool. I would definitely buy it. <laughs> okay, Avril. Give it to me. What do you want? You named me, bitch. Ah! What is this with you, village bumpkins? Every year you send children to bother me. What did I do to that? There, 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 there. I came here to blah blah blah. Alright you, what is your name? Tell you. Fine, whatever. Look into my pool and tell me what you see. What do you see, girl? I see a foreign land. Ooh, they changed some stuff here. Normally, it, I think it was a scrolling uh, forest? Or just a normal forest? I don't recall. Definitely wasn't this. I can hear the wind. No. It's voices chanting something. Ari. Ariman. There's something in the dark. A man. Two men. Lord Zoram. Everything has been done as you have requested. Excellent. Let's begin our ritual. 2015 years ago, the greatest emperor in history ruled over the kingdoms. 
through the use of blood and suffering, this emperor, the mighty Armin, was the most powerful man who controlled the world. Now in this hour, I shall summon him back from death. An impossible feat until now. I am the only sorcerer in history to raise the dead. Are you not afraid that he will kill us all? No. That which I rise is controlled by me alone. I shall use the power of Armon to rule the kingdoms. My brother will pay for my exile with his blood. I shall begin the summoning. Uh, but, but something. <laughs> if only the font was better. Something. <laughs> I feel a presence. Someone is watching us. Get away from there! What is that? Give me your hand, child. Aha! You shall not be named today. You shall go to Tai instead. Go to the Collegium. Collegium? Go to the Collegium of War and Magic. for Master Gareth. But, what about my name? What am I to become? I have no name for you today. Do as you are told. Bitch. <laughs> she could have just said, I'm gonna name you after you come back. If you do. Hey. <laughs> So Talia wants to become an herbalist, but now she is sent on this grand adventure to destroy the Ariman, Ariman, whatever it's called. And the game has actual bad endings, sort of. Basically, the wrong choice will lead you to death. Class 4. We have become level 4, 23 health, 17 attack and defense. <sighs> nice. <laughs> now they instantly fall. This game is beautiful. <laughs> Hands down, it's a really beautiful fantasy RPG. Very simple, but beautifully crafted. This is an old game, so there is no auto-tracking. So now... What did Avril say you were to become? Stop dawdling, child! <laughs> now the game gives you a choice. You can tell your granny what Avril said, possibly piss her off because you weren't named, or you could lie and tell her that, ah, you were named an herbalist. And then... You tell Grandmother that Avril said you were to become an herbalist, as you have always wanted to become. And with that, you spend the rest of your life peacefully within the walls of your little village, blissfully unaware of the terrors reaching across the kingdoms. Uh, but basically, ju you just doom the world. Because you just didn't want to do what an old lady told you to do. <laughs> 
the magic of multiple uh, choices. <laughs> Okay. No! <laughs> Thank God. No! RPG Maker games are able to go back to a title screen with a press of F12, so... Tell the truth. That old crow! How could she not aim you? Aware that Grandmother is on the verge of finding a strangling Gavriel, you try to soften the bad news. She's sending me to the mainland. Some place called Hai. I don't like any of it. Leave Alden. Don't worry, Granny. I promise I won't be gone for long. Hai is not on, he's on the mainland. The mainland is full of heathens. If you go, talk to Barbar -Bar first. Ask him to lend you one of his boys. <laughs> I love how her voice just went from <laughs> into. <laughs> I will not have you traveling without protection. Bitch. <laughs> and how convenient it is that that uh, they uh, are going to travel together. How convenient they. Bop, 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 bop. breads <laughs> hey bitch what is it child hurry I has much to do ask to borrow an apprentice that's not for me to decide child what's has done hey boys who wants to escort this little lady to the mainland about this one. Not that we're gonna want to name her, so she's running away. What an asshole. Mainland's full of scum and field. Thieves everywhere. We'd be forced to go wandering there. Will none of you help me? Fine. I'm braver that all of you combined. I shall go alone. I'll not have one of our girls wandering the outside unprotected. I owe my life to you. Your sister won't like it though. <laughs> That's her problem. <laughs> okay. Good luck. He is a blacksmith right now. And he has absolutely nothing to use. So we shall nicely go and buy some shit. <laughs> Equipment buy. He needs a hat and a practice sword. He's tough. Now that we have Devin on our party, we can just safely go over to the port. Because now, uh, conveniently, the ship has arrived to the docks. I probably should have healed, but that's fine. And like I said, every attack changes the character to give them a chance for the next attack. Or not. <sighs> Do I need to go talk to the grandmother again? I feel dumb. 
This slow movement may get annoying after a while, but later in the game, uh, when you have the shovel and you can pick up graves, one of the graves will contain running shoes. And at that moment, your speed will double or triple, I don't remember anymore. Devin Perry, see that no harm comes to my granddaughter. I almost forgot, I baked some fresh bread. Take my charm for luck. Good luck, charm. Okay. And a charm. I don't know what the charm does, actually. Sleeping together in the bed of a lonely girl. La, 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 la. Okay, let me check something quick. For a second, I thought that it's it raised the attack and defense. I was wrong. Okay. Let's uh, do this. Do di do di do di do di. Do di do di do di do di. Just one more. Now the ship is there, which is conveniently shown as a raft. Okay, Doody. Hello there, young'uns. Where would you like to go? Oh yeah, I forgot that you need gold. <laughs> that was sealed tightly. Interesting, I don't remember actually checking those. Wait, can I check the anchor? Why do you keep an anchor here and the rope of the anchor there? Ship is still there because you need to be able to go back eventually. Welcome to Mule Express. Where would you like to go? Nah, never mind. So Devonshire is up, Pie is up and left, Fishery is left, and Elden is right. Let's go to the Fishery. This is a enemy. Oh my god. I think the thing hit Talia. I think. I'm pretty sure I rested earlier. For now, let's go to Devonshire, actually. What's this? This is Devonshire. Hey, kids. Tag, you're it. This is so adorable. Okay. Welcome to Devonshire. You search a barrel but find nothing. Hey, dude. Ty? That's east from here. No, wait. It's south. West? Even these people don't know. Seal tightly. History of Devonshire. It was founded in 4521 day by the sun priest Ajo. Either I don't recall checking that, or they added lore to it. One aloe leaf. I think you can take no. Oh, chest, one oak shield. Oh, 
<laughs> I love the upgraded graphics. I miss this game so much. I live in Elden, but it's difficult to find work on the island. I come to work here during the week. Are you the person who... Okay. Daddy says he found a scroll with funny markings in it. Search barrel, but find nothing. Doggy, wolf wolf. <laughs> okay. Good morning, stranger. What can I get for you? We can get a bastard sword, mercenary sword, or oak staff. Oak staff is weaker than the sword. <laughs> uh, hello leaf is nine gold. Okay. Mm armor. Leather helmet, leather armor, doublet. This is very expensive. <laughs> it fits snugly over your shoulders. An oak shield. What kind of business do you have in Thai? Collegium of War and Magic? Never heard of it. He has such a weird and creepy face. Almost like some kind of creepypasta. Red, marsh tea, aloe, and cassia leaf. Cassia leaf is, as it says, a uh, revival. I love this game so much. Hey girl. Now we're going to grow up. Yeah. <laughs> I I might go and grind just a little bit. Maybe. I look at the kids running away from me <laughs> because we're to play in town. Um there is something here. I don't remember what. I believe there will be something. Did you know that one of the original sun priests, Aho, was born here in Evershire? Evershire, Devonshire. To get to Thai, you will need to use an open pass. Be careful, it's dangerous in there. There are bats, I think, in there? Ooh, hi. Hi, kid. I don't like my mommy's sister. She's mean to me. Wah. You search the shelf but find nothing. My poor wife died suddenly last month. Luckily, her sister has been kind enough to take care of me. Yeah. Hey, bitch. Now that my sister is out of the way, Herbert, here, Herbert is mine. This bitch killed her sister. <laughs> that will be another uh, quest line later. Survival guide. When attacked by a bear, lie on the ground and play dead. Pray to the goddess every morning and night, and you will be blessed. The mainland to the east of the Thial Mountains is strange, is, is, is sparsely inhabited with farming villages. It's hard to read with this font. We are gonna come back to this place later. Hey kitty. Wow 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 wow. <laughs> My sister from Kandar says Lord Zoram, Queen Sedva's brother, has been banished from their kingdom. Why? He apparently tried to have Prince Sedva was assassinated. They tried to ask each other. You search the shells, but find the thing. I found a scroll with strange markings in it. I believe we can come back here. You warm your hand over the fire. Practice sword. Thank you. For 300 years, the local fishing industry has always been controlled by people called Tucker. Not Fucker, Tucker. Coincidence or conspiracy? You may be the judge.
I believe once uh, we finish our business in the Collegium of War and Magic, we will get the scroll from him. I'm not sure anymore. chunk of meat. Oh boy. Talia is dead. Although she has one life left, not sure if she's actually dead or I can revive her. I don't remember. I guess you're adorable. I think the inn revives her. 15 gold a night. Nope, she's dead. Okay. She is definitely dead. <laughs> huh. I'm gonna have to uh, go grind a bit. <laughs> Just a little bit. And once we are done, we are gonna uh, continue the let's play. I'm looking forward to finishing this game. It's a fun game, I just love it. Uh, it's not often that you find a an old RPG Maker game that is actually both fun and good, and stays. Uh, not stays. Uh, okay. Weird. <laughs> Talia just revives for the purchase, and actually uh, holds. Uh, and actually. Remains fun, is what I want to say. Um, mutton, 25 HP. That's good, but not worth the trouble. Cashier leaves. Hello. Marsh tea, cashier leaves. There we go. This is one of those games that truly uh, uh, remains fun even after years uh, have passed. I think the trip back is free, I think, yeah. Just a trip to the mainland is uh, 28. So we can just go and simply just grind off of the monsters. Which we will need. But first we're going back to the village. And heal up. <laughs> that's gonna be it we have done some progress we are still believe it or not 
we are still in the tutorial uh, section of the game. So, <laughs> we have a lot to do. Uh, thank you everyone for watching. This was episode 1 of Aaron's Prophecy. My first RPG Maker game that I ever played and I loved it. Uh, I'll, I will continue playing this uh, the upcoming days. It's fun, I love it and I just can't wait to get to the different sections again. Uh, there are several class changes in this game and back in the day I uh, made it so I saved before every single one of them and then replayed the game with each and every one of the classes and it was hell of a lot of fun. So I know my ins and outs of this game. Uh, I am not sure if they fixed one of the game breaking glitches which is supposed to revive your party but ends up killing everyone and making your game over. <laughs> or the end of the game where no matter what you do you get a game over. Uh, we will see. I look forward to it and I hope you guys will too and will enjoy uh, every minute of this. Even if not every minute, every second minute. So until next time, thank you everyone for watching and be blazing friends. Bye bye.